Week number 26. It's a rainy week. Okay, week number 26 of the 27-inch challenge. And this is the first time in a long while. Around eight no years. I mean more than a year. It's been more than a year since I squatted again. Okay, so this um vlog will be all about this training session and some low carb lasagna just like last week okay so this is that's the warm up now this is the working set okay i'm taking my time and i am pacing myself so this is just 200 pounds for a set of fives okay about seven sets of five And I'm doing it as to grass. Okay, meaning that's how deep I get. And it's post squats. It's not just some, you know, some bouncy squat or touch and go squat. It is some post squats. Okay, so that is the second warm up set. And that felt heavy. So I think this is going. That's, that's supposed to be a test set. My goal is to squat around 230 pounds this day but it will not happen because you know this is my first time squatting again okay did i lose strength on the squat definitely yes i, I do i did lose strength on the actual squat but i think it's just because of i'm not used to it yet okay because if you look at my leg size and my my you know my core my strength on the overall movement it is still the same i can still do the same amount of volume okay but not as you know the, the movement pattern is a bit new for me so in terms of technique i did lose technique i did lose strength but you know in terms of actual strength i think i'm going to get this back to its original which is i can squat around 250 pos for around 10 reps okay so 250 pos and then 340 touch and go for 5 reps so to make the workout a little bit shorter i superseted this with some neck training okay this is a good you know good way of shortening your workouts if you have you know limited time you superset So you superset an upper body movement and then a lower body one so that one is resting and the other is working okay and it, this is pretty light high reps okay so i can go back and forth on my sets okay in this way you can do a lot of set in less period of time in less period of time and the reps is not that taxing that it will kill you after the workout okay so few tips on squatting people have a lot of issues when they squat because of you know lower back issues knee issues mobility issues you know some shoulder even shoulder issues okay they are having a hard time squatting so let's address the knee issue okay If you want a healthy knee, if you want to to you know don't if you don't want to have future knee pain or you have knee pain right now when you squat, make sure to lower down the weight. Okay? Lower the weight, and lower your ego. Okay? That will make your squat so much better. Okay? If you squat touch and go, then it's probably a good idea to do this. Okay, as to grass, pause squats, reduce the weight, and you will feel it much better. Your 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 knees were going to to get recovered, and you will feel every part of your leg. Because I noticed when I do pause squats versus I do like this um touch and go squat. When I do touch and go squat, I can just feel it on my upper leg. Okay, you know the 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 
glute far the glute part and the, I I don't feel it on my VMO. Okay, on on my lower quad. Okay, v, vastus medialis and vastus lateralis, which is you know that's what I want to develop. But when I started to control the reps versus you fitness three one one rep tempo principle, three seconds down, pause, explode up. I did start feeling it on my VMO, which is good. I don't want to do any more lunges and, you know, one-legged squats. You know, and this is a good core workout also. Okay, so drop your ego. If you are having a hard time squatting and, you know, having all these issues, maybe the weight is too much for you and you have to correct your form first. Okay? So again, the squat is going to take a long while because it's it is seven sets. So I've, I I'm done with my neck work. Now I'm doing my vertical pulling work. Okay, I replaced my pull-ups with this because you know you can't do weighted pull-ups and you know full squat, post squats at the same time. So it's better to you know do some machines instead of doing the the weighted pull-ups because you know your workout is going to be really really hard so give and take okay one intense exercise and then reduce the intensity on the other okay? it's all about balance okay that's why i'm able to be stay injury free i didn't have any any major injuries in the past like eight nine years of training i've been training for eight nine years now so i have no injuries whatsoever you know i i am having a hard time you know people telling me they have been training for two years and they have this major surgery you know of their lower back and their you know some disc and they're not an athlete they just lift weights okay so it's important to still you know um do this for the long term okay again super setting this is around 170 pounds okay neutral grip wide neutral grip um vertical pulling okay why wide, wide neutral grip lat pull down so you know i do this for around like eight sets of three so eight sets of three three sets of eight so that's around my pull-ups. Okay, that's the volume of my pull-ups. Okay, the, the, the 100 pounds plus my body weight. Okay? So, have you noticed that? That, that, that walk out? Okay, I don't spend a lot of time, you know, walking out. I just take 3-4 steps and I squat. Okay, to not waste energy. Okay, again, keep your chest up. Keep your neck neutral and you know just grind it out okay people when they squat another mistake is that they you know they don't keep their legs out especially when the weight is heavy when you go down and then you go up okay their their knees tend to stick in okay don't allow that i know it's the, a natural tendency to for your knees to stick in but don't allow it okay just keep your knees out all throughout the movement and you'll have a much better knee in the long run okay so again the lat pull downs i i don't necessarily pause on this because you know uh it's a little bit harder for the the shoulders for me to pause at the that part that part of the rep so yeah again this is around four three i think four sets i did four sets or three sets okay so yeah i'm, I'm still doing the pause i'm still doing the pause here so i think i reviewed the video and then i noticed that i'm not really pausing on the isometric part or the post part of the rep so that's the, this workout is for me 
okay, this is designed for my goals and my training. Okay, you don't have to necessarily copy it. Okay, so find what works for you. I think this grip and this wide grip really hits my rear delts and my upper back. So this is for me. Well, some people are built different. Okay, we have we have different biomechanics. So. Um, muscle attachments and bone structures so it's really if, if squat doesn't work for you then you know just do it for you know if it doesn't grow your legs then just do it for strength purposes and you know mo mobility purposes and you know having healthy healthy overall strength and then do the rest of your training volume spend it on you know the 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 movements that really hits your legs okay which is you know lunges pistol squats some leg extensions some people like the leg press okay i don't have a good leg press machine here so i stick to the squats and that's the very reason why I'm doing the post squats, okay? Because to me, I don't hit my desired muscle group doing touch and go squats, okay? So I'm, I'm not doing this, you know, because, you know, the reason for it is no pain, no gain. I'm doing the post squats because I feel it on my VMO and my, you know, the lower, lower part of my quad. Okay, the vastus lateralis and vastus medialis. Okay, just you can just Google that. What muscle group is that? But I think that what makes the leg aesthetic. Okay, the vastus medialis and the vastus lateralis. Okay, and also I, I enjoy squatting. Okay, so my goal for that squat is to get to around 300 pounds post squats for around six reps. That's the ultimate goal. Okay, so I'm gonna build that up for the next few months. Okay, still training twice a week. Okay, still sticking to the basics. For example, this this is my one of my main movements for the shoulders, the lateral raise. And I especially like this, you know, the, the plate lateral raise. You know, it, it is harder than the dumbbells. Okay. So as you can see, I'm trying to pause at the top and then control, really control the 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 eccentric part, the going down part of the movement. Even if it's <laughs> so hard and it, it burns already, I still do my best to control every rep. Okay, and this is a staple for me. Again, people call you chicken legs not because of your quads. It is because of your calves okay if your calves are small no matter how big is your quads you're still going to be called chicken legs okay especially if you wear, wear shorts and in tight jeans okay so the technique on doing calf races is the tempo okay the tempo why because it hits your gastrocnemius okay that that ball part of your lower leg okay if you do this with momentum bouncing it will not hit your gastro okay it will hit your soleus your your achilles tendon will will absorb all the force which is what we use for jumping and that muscle is very powerful if you use it and it will make the exercise easier and it will not hit the muscle group you're targeting so please 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 slow down the reps pause at the bottom pause at the top explode at, at you know explode at the upper part you know going up part slow down the going down part again pay attention to the tempo okay and what makes this workout harder than the you know the, the the body weight one is this we have three big compound movements of the golden five okay today i squatted 
and then I do the vertical pulling, the, the pull-ups, and you know, now we do the bench. Okay, by this point, I am so taxed and I am so fried, you know, that this really is a challenge. Doing 80 pound barbell incline dumbbell press is going to be hard. That's why I didn't go with the, my favorite 100 pounds because I'm going to kill myself if I do that. So I'm just doing more sets and you know more controlled reps on this so this is six by four so that's 24 reps total i want it to be 30 reps total with good amount of tempo as you can see three seconds down pause a little bit and then go up okay next time i'm gonna make that pauses longer because you know um, i want to really master this movement okay so that's that's a good thing also on balancing your training you have to learn to back off i think this is the lesson of this week 26 you have to learn to back off okay i normally do 110 pounds for around what 24 reps total on this but because this is the latter part of the workout where you already hit a lot of movements you're not as fresh and you're not as strong you have to admit that to yourself that you are not as strong as you are previously okay so you have to back off and just you know fix your ego and go with it okay so this looks easy on camera but if you're doing it you know after squatting and and doing the pull-ups i didn't even do pull-ups i just did you know i just did lat pull downs and this is this feels hard this still feels hard okay so this is four sets of six so 24 reps total and the key to this is to okay stop if you have only one rep in the tank okay so some people call it you know on, on if you want to be more specific nine rpe rate of perceived exertion you have one rep in the tank okay you don't push it to failure and you know you you have a much better set afterwards okay post-workout meal some ube ube bread okay and I, I can't have a lot of this because you know i am going to overeat the whole bag so i just you know ate this cheesecake it kills my cravings it it makes me not overeat okay and good news my waist now is close to 29 inches okay and that diet break really helped okay that the diet break i'm still on a diet break but i i did lost some inches of my waist it's weird okay maybe i'm holding water and you know the extra carbs flushed it out okay so fiber for this meal is this is burrito fiber burrito ve veggie burrito okay i call it okay in our language it's lumpiang gulay okay it's called lumpiang gulay and again the technique also are are always eating your veggies and what better way to do that is to buy it wholesale okay as you can see some oh you see you see later what we'll what we're going to do with that eggplants okay so some okra some chicken some rice pretty bro okay so that's fried chicken by the way and then this okay i think this is the next day play okay, some breads cheese breads and we make the lasagna okay before i make the lasagna i'm just gonna eat this eggplant okay you pan fry the eggplant you cut it off you know pieces small pieces 
you pan fry it and then you need some mascarpone cheese yeah and you layer it like that eggplant cheese and then the, the bolognese and then you repeat that and you you get the cheese on top okay i don't even use low fat cheese i think it tastes lousy so i'm, I'm using full fat cheese and mozzarella you know for this recipe this is the same recipe as the last you know the last last vlog okay so it's best to serve with rice okay put it on the turbo or an oven and you're good to go it's amazing it's low carb high fat high protein and it's delicious okay so that's how you diet flexibly that's how you eat like you know guilt free this is guilt free actually even though it's high fat it's still guilt free okay that's the shred smart diet okay so if you don't if you want if you don't want to suffer on your diet check out the shred smart program down below okay so again some eggs this is i think the next day dinner time some micronutrients and i coupled it with some eggs okay instead of eating carbs i just ate some eggs and some of my leftover carbs on that you know shopao or, or chinese bread with some meat on it okay so this is the second part of the week okay my of the two hours a week training okay this, this lasts for around 40 minutes 30 to 40 minutes okay some overhead pressing body weights so i already did calf raises and then four sets of these these handstand push-ups and then i'm doing my first one to two sets of you know super setting it to save time front levers so what I'm gonna do today is push. I push for another personal record on the handstands. So we do six by four, six, 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 and then eight, and then eight. So hopefully we get it. Still in the three, one, one versus you fitness rep tempo uh, principle. So let's try it. yeah so that's my first eight of my goal this is one three two one pause explode two three two one pause explode three three two one pause explode four and the reps go like that five and then six come on two more seven yeah i didn't hit it that is only seven reps so I'm gonna work on that next time so yeah front levers 35 reps total calf raises and some arms and you know 25 30 minutes you know including this we're done Okay, I did say 30 to 40 minutes, but um, I reviewed the clips and it this only lasts a bit shorter. 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 230 minutes. Okay, so it's a bit less than you know I expect. So the the key to to this is to superset. That's why it only lasts for like what? Um 25 minutes 
So I did this supersetting it with calf raise and then the handstand push up supersetting it with the the arms. I uh, know I supersetted the calf raise with the the overhead press the the handstand push up and this is supersetted with the bicep. That's why my forearm is really um, tired here. So it's a bit of challenge. So if I slip, then I'm dead. Okay. So I need to really grip on that bar. All of my strength, all of my body weight. Post-workout meal, chicken, rice, bro food, some barbecue sauce. And again, don't forget to eat your fiber okay i am eating this while cooking some of my meal prepping some weeks yeah. adobo as you can see the fire okay adobo is a filipino dish it's pretty pretty famous it's just you know some pig and some vinegar and yeah we eat it with beans for fiber. This is the next day actually. So fiber and some some meat, rice, a staple Filipino Filipino carb carb source. So rice is not fattening. <laughs> so yeah, I fried the skin of the pork and some soft boiled egg. So yeah. That's it. That's how you that's how you eat. Okay, that's how you train. It takes time, but it's enjoyable. Make sure to check out our Shred Smart program. And if you want to quote me to coach you personally, we have a personal online coaching service. Check it out on versusyoufitness.com. See you on week 27. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye for now. Peace.